from Jersey Joe Walcott's boxing style. I really like Walcott's style. It's so unique because people won't coach it because it's high risk, high reward, and it relies on good reflexes to counter punch your opponents, particularly with the right cross and left hook. He didn't use a high guard. Walcott didn't want you to pick or pour at him. He wanted you to throw your punches with full commitment so that he could punch you when you were most vulnerable. When a punch has been thrown, there's a very short period of time where the boxer throwing the punch is most vulnerable. And there's an opening in the guard, their balance is moved onto one leg, and they are focusing on their own punch and landing it accurately and not their defence at the time. Knowing this, Walcott would throw his best punches when his opponents were throwing. I love the old school mindset with this style. He wanted you to punch him as hard as you can so he could knock you out for trying. That's a proper fighter's mindset. Not focusing on racking up points, he would minimise the damage you did because he would roll with the punch and then he would set up his own power punch counter. He wanted damaging shots to win the fight, not pitter pat punches. He would slip and weave with punches and he knew how to draw punches from the opponent and land the counter. Walcott was very relaxed in the ring and this helped make him as smooth as they come. He had excellent footwork and distance control. His relaxation minimised fatigue and kept him sharp for the whole fight. He was able to fight on the inside. He liked to roll with the punch knowing there would be an opening. He would find his opponent's chin with the right hand and left hook and he'd land that powerful shot when his opponent would least expect it. Walcott was a special type of fighter. He was willing to take the risk to land fight changing punches. His hands were not glued to his temples. His style wasn't about that. He had a decent jab too. This would help control the pace and draw punches. If he wanted to wear his opponent down with actually punching, he'd draw a punch just to let them hit air. This was dual purpose. He was wearing them down, but also taking note of the openings for his counters to come. I have a few examples here of him resetting the rhythm with his footwork. He would literally just step away and break up the rhythm. He used that to mix things up. He might suddenly jab afterward or do a big right hand or left hook. The whole idea of it was just be unpredictable. Here I have some examples of the same time counters. This is less common today. Most people do a defensive move, whether it's block, slip, move their feet, whatever it is, and then they try to counter. Walcott would do that as well, obviously, but he was notorious for same time counters. So he would throw his punch as you throw yours. He'd move his head off the center line, and by moving his head off the center line, you would miss your punch and he would land his, both at the same time. He would do this particularly with his right hand cross. It's very dangerous, but it can be a game changer. Here are some examples of where Walcott didn't time it right and he got a solid punch for his mistake. In summary, you won't see many people fight like Walcott today because of the whole high risk element. People want to be safe. It would be difficult to find any coach who would be able to teach it properly as well. But it's an exciting, fan friendly style. 
you need that kind of Spartan mindset. Come back with your shield or on it. Win the fight or go down fighting. Being able to move off centre line and rolling with punches were essential for his counters. It minimised the damage received and maximised his own punch. Jersey Joe was an excellent fighter, but if we don't talk about them, we don't watch the videos of them, then they're just going to disappear into history. So that's why I like doing these boxes that are old school, is keep them going, and I hope you enjoyed the video.